Good morning. Hope you're having a wonderful day. An amazing day. Hope you woke up, woke up and just had like an instant orgasm because life is so awesome. Okay, that's a bit much, but I'm still rooting for you, so what are you going to do, right? I was going to give it a rest for a minute after that 400th video. It's very emotional to pull that out of me. But I think while I was sitting here shuffling my cards, for some reason I was thinking about people doing jobs, working, struggling. And empower in my magic. And I was like, man, I wish there was a Hogwarts. There's no school for magic, unfortunately. And magic exists. Isn't that fucked up? There is such a thing as magic, and there are abilities that people have. There is no school of Xavier, school for gifted children or some bullshit. There's none of that. So it's all freelance. It's all learn as you go. Ouch, fire burn, you know, that kind of thing. Magic is not to be toyed with. So when I realized I was a magician and I was a magi and I could do this, I had to realize that I had to take baby steps and I had to also watch my steps because black magic is a big juju, it's a big no-no in the magic world. In the world of Hogwarts, the bad, you know, you know what I mean? Death dealers, you know, that's the, they're bad guys. And a lot of times magic is simply your ability to create with your thoughts. So when you're thinking negatively towards somebody else, that's bad. That's black magic. So you gotta watch that. Watch your stinking thinking, especially towards other people, because that makes you on the, in the wrong. You know, two wrongs don't make a right, that kind of thing. This is where the school of magic needs to be. We need that, but like I said, I'm running wild, outlaw, renegade. I'm cool with it, it's hot, I like it. And I was just thinking about all the shit jobs I've had in my life. And I'm like, I would go to, if there was a Hogwarts, I would go to Hogwarts in any capacity that I could just to learn more magic and how to control it. Even if it's a janitor, you know, scrubbing toilets. Never, never be too humble, even when you're the emperor of the universe, to scrub a toilet. Even if it's one you didn't use. That's humility. And I, I've done that before. I've had every shit job you can think about it. And, and I, when I was funny because when I was going through it at the time when I was younger, I'm like, I know my abilities. I know my potential. I, I got really sick of people saying that to me. You so you know you have so much potential. But look what you I mean. You can't. You, they don't fucking know the path of my life. These assholes act like they got the book of my life and they read it and they're like, dude, boy, you're on. You're, you should be on chapter five. You're on chapter two. No, you didn't, haven't read the fucking book of my life. So don't tell me. I'm wasting my potential. I know I have potential. I know what my potential is. It took me a long time to figure that out because nobody was telling me, you have potential, kid. You have potential, kid. I didn't get a lot of that support, that affirmation that you should have as a child. <sighs> but, yeah, is, is there a wound there? Yeah, obviously. I'm not healed completely. I'm still working on this. But like I said, I remember doing these shit jobs when I was a kid, and I'm like, what is the lesson behind this? This is a shit job. And I'm like, is this punishment? <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. What, if, why am I, because like I said, I know my potential, I know what I'm worth, I know what I, I can do. Sometimes you gotta take whatever jobs you can. And I would take these jobs, and they were shit jobs, and I'm like, that's the, that's the lesson. That they are shit jobs. But somebody has to do it. I mean, when you're younger, it's more likely that you're going to be scrubbing toilets because, you know, you step in the ladder, right? Hopefully you're not scrubbing the toilets too long, you know, when you're old. But the point is, is I, as emperor of the universe, can empathize with the, with the janitor. Anybody doing the shit job, because I've done the shit job. Many a shit job. Now you know why, yeah, this isn't for kids. I, I do a lot of adult speak. Yeah, that'd be cool if there was a Hogwarts. But don't be too humble to scrub a toilet. It's, there's a lesson there. A lesson in humility. A lesson in compassion for others who are stuck doing that job at the moment. That's not who they are. 
some janitor or somebody, a maid or somebody in a hotel room, that's not who they are. That's just a moment in time that they're working in. So don't judge them by who they are, what they are doing at that moment, because they may be somebody amazing. Remember that. Just like you are amazing. This is my channel. Telling the people they're amazing, you're awesome, you're special, I love you, God loves you, and the universe is still digging you in them jeans, baby. Might go easy on the Taco Tuesday. I like a big booty, though. I like me a big booty. Anyway, sorry. Have a wonderful day. And I love you, and yeah, I'm a flirt. Anyway, have a good day. Okay, bye.